Leo, welcome to your Astro Flower Lionsgate reading, the manifestation reading, right in your birthday period. So have a lovely birthday if um, you're going between the 8th and to the end of the um, your season at the 21st or 22nd of August. Um, but this reading goes from the 8th through to the 30th through to the supermoon. And it's like the lion's gate opens and we have this opportunity to start manifesting a beautiful future and then it's sort of like it's like okay all manifestations are in at the end of the month the super moon goes right now off we go so it's a lot of sort of like organization and realizations as well and we saw that in the collective we're going to be pulling cards on top of the collective reading here um so you know i'll be sort of vaguely explaining it on the way through but um, you should really go and see the collective reading if you want to see what the full detail is of what we're reading on top of. Um, so the overall energy here is judgment. Yeah, you're calling. This is you starting your new year. This is the Lion's Gate is really made for you, uh, Leo. It's manifesting, and this is where the overall energy here we have manifestation and the um, you know the um, intuition. Sorry, um, combining with the Page of Pentacles. So converting the intuition into physical. Um, possibilities um, and yeah responding to your calling and I think this is where the overall energy here is is almost presenting you with something that's sort of saying this is a no-brainer Leo this is what you should be doing this is how you should be heading off this is where you should be going okay uh, I think it's really straightforward for you let's see what's going on in the karmic message on your relationship side you got the two of wands yeah, I think there's probably still planning that needs to be done, but also there's a, I think it's planning of moving forward, planning of moving towards someone or something and realising that you've got a huge amount of attributes because underneath we have the Seven of Swords and the Hierophant. So you could say it's a marriage thing, a playing smart with your relationships. Um, and, uh, you know, we... It, we, we know how to get to good energy, vibration, and, and combinations between us all. And what you're doing here is planning this within, you're planning your manifestation, basically. How you want to manifest the best relationships in your life. How is the universe influencing you? On the overall reading we had, um, on the collective reading, we had the Ten of Cups and the Five of Cups. So walking away from difficulty, uh, walking away from uh, disappointment, and walking towards the reality, the true reality, okay, uh, of happiness. And that's what happiness brings. And you get the Page of Swords starting this journey. This is where they're giving you, they're, they're within your fire, you've got fire and earth in your sign. You've got a lot of it. Um, and this is a really good thing for passions uh, because obviously you need wood in order to have the fire. And what you're missing is the air. And I think this is where the universe is sort of like, with the reality that it's bringing to us and the truth of what is actually going on, I think it's going to fuel your flames, basically. Fuel your passions and really head you off in a direction that is going to make you very decisive going forward. Okay? Okay, so on this next petal here, it's what's holding us back in our manifestations. And in the collective, we had the nine of pentacles with the five of swords. It was as if like we had a lot of a potential, but we would turn, that potential was turned against us and it became very divisive rather than um, very um, uh, coercive uh, or coercion, as it were. And you get the king of swords that, you know, The thing that may be holding you back is judgment. The way, um, you know, sometimes we can say, okay, this is, I see it like this, this is how it's going to be. And a little bit more, and that's within your planning here as well. Um, and I think you've just got to be a little bit wary of being too rigid within your decision. Being the best example, don't get caught up in conflict. That's the thing here. Don't get conf caught up in conflict. That doesn't. It's not going to serve you anything, really. Um, I think it's more of a case here of just being a little bit more flexible with yourself and flexible with the world that is around you. You know, uh, the moment you are, um, that's when you can see the full potential. And when you can see the full potential, then you can take the full advantage of the potential. Okay, so just be a little bit more sort of gentle with you. This is the good stuff that's coming out here. You've got the ten of wands on the good stuff. Mm -hmm. 
don't try and do too much. It's an opportunity as well for you to let go of a few things. As you head towards your star, if you reach for the stars and you're heading towards it, you're going to have to let go of some things. It's a bit like an airship or, you know, a Zeppelin. Uh, in, you know, t so the Zeppelin can take off. You've got to unhook it from the, from the weights that are holding it down, you know, the anchors that are holding it down. Um, so I would allow your... You know, I would I I would allow yourself this freedom. This freedom keeps coming back up inside. You know, in this sort of like conversation here, whatever it, where it is, just be as free as a bird. You know, um, try not to make your planning be too heavy for you to carry. Just try not to do too many things at once, basically, because we got the ten of swans in both in the collective reading here as well. So we've already got it twice. Like we got the nine of wands twice as well. Um, let's just see, uh, the overall outcome here is, is basically we've got this rite of passage in this manifestation. We have this period where we're actually going to go towards unification and use those healthy boundaries in the Nine of Wands to stop us going backwards and looking us to go forward. And that's what comes out of it for you guys. I think if you're gentle with yourself, all of a sudden you're going to realise it's actually a lot easier than you think. So you put a lot less pressure on yourself. The moment you put a lot less pressure on yourself, you put a lot less pressure on the relationships around you as well. Um, and that makes it easier for you. And that makes it easier for you to actually get the best out of life. And once you, and I think this is a realisation that you're coming to. And this is going to make you sing. It's going to make you be Richard of Lion Heart. The heart of the lion. This is what is you're going to be bringing forward. And that's what plays out in the judgment card as well. I think that's where you're going to be heading off towards ultimate um, direction for you in regards to relationships that are around you. And I think you have planned it. Yeah, and I think it will manifest how you so desire it. Just try not to carry too much. It would make it a lot easier for you and for the universe. Hang on a second, I've just dropped a few cards. There you go, King of Cups, and the Lovers, that's where it's taking you, that's where it's taking you, you know, thank you very much for your support uh, Leo uh, on this channel, we're going to be doing your finances side, uh, I just wanted to sort of say thanks for the anything you do in the way of support for this channel, so um, through YouTube that's sort of like liking, subscribing, uh, commenting. Uh, but also sharing. Sharing is really good. Sharing across all media platforms really helps us out. So I really do appreciate that. Uh, let's um, other people see this channel that wouldn't normally see this channel. It's absolutely beautiful. Thank you very much for that. There's also loads of links in the description below um, where you can get a um, private reading with myself or a healing session with myself. You can choose the formula that corresponds to you, book it up, and the time and date and everything like that. There is also an email there where because I'm going to be doing workshops in the UK between September, October and in the US between October and November. Um, where it's, I do these energy workshops, I help people connect to energy and I've helped hundreds of people to explore energy and learn uh, how to, how to, through yourself, how to get the best out of life. Um, so drop us an email, just tell us where you are in the world, even if it's in Australia, because there's a lot of people in Australia and it looks like I'm going to be going out there in the new year. Um, yeah, so just drop us an email, tell me where you are in the world, tell me how far you're willing to travel so then I can organise workshops that are in not too far from you or in your area so then I can um, share with you the times and dates of all the, um, all the workshops that I'm going to be giving. Okay, um, yeah, thank you very much. Let's get on with your financial side. Let's see what's going on here. We had on the karmic message here, and this is very similar to that side, actually, funnily enough, now I think about it. And we've got the Ace of Cups and the Ten of Wands, which you've got at the top there. And this is about sort of like we've been trying too hard, in fact. We've been trying too hard, and it's a lot easier than we think. Um, so what's going on for you, for your karmic message? You've got the Eight of Cups. I think this is a chance, an opportunity for you to walk away from anything that's not really floating your boat anymore. And open up the door of curiosity as well, learning about yourself, learning about your possibilities, learning about how far you can take your career path, 
how far you can push your business. You know, what sort of projects do you really want to be doing? That sort of thing. Um, with the universe here, we have the Four of Cups and the Queen of Wands. Don't look to the past for judgment. Look to the future and get enthusiastic about the things that we're going through. Um, you get the Page of Cups. This is absolutely beautiful. You've now got the universe, which is giving you two pages here. The starting of a journey. And this is starting of that, um, you know, once you engage your passions in, in life uh, and enjoy the moment, um, you can start believing again. And Because I, I think there was a bit of faltering within your financial side or your career path or whatever it was um, in the last couple of months, two or three months. And here is now you're sort of like getting to a stage where you can kind of start believing in it again. What is the things that's holding us back? And the collective, we had the Ten of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands. It was like our resources are being used against us. Um, uh, same sort of thing for, for, you know, diverse reasons and, you know, diversive uh, way about it. And it's collecting it in the hands of the few. And I think that's what's going to break in the change of fortune at the end of the month in uh, the, the super moon. So let's just see what's holding you back in particular. You've got the Queen of Wands, which we had with the universe is trying to instigate you. I think what was holding you back more than anything is just the patience of having to wait, uh, wait around. And sometimes you can go too early. So just be careful of that. Allow, your, allow you to be very um, wise, almost sort of like, um, you know, hold your nerve as it were. Um, I think that's the sort of thing that could be holding you back. If you go too early or if you put the passions in uh, in the wrong time, it's all to do with timing there. You know, it may be detrimental to you rather than actually sort of beneficial to you. What's the good stuff coming out of it? We get the Queen of Swords and the Nine of Wands here. So um, these healthy boundaries of understanding of where what's gone on and what's gone wrong um, and choosing another direction. The collective is choosing a new way. Um, uh, and that's what we got the opportunity within our positive stuff. How does it play in for you? You get the hermit here. Knowing about yourself, and I think this is what this path of discovery is all about. You've learned a lot about yourself. Now you're discovering of putting it into action um, and using all your resources within you that You've discovered your shadow side as much as your sunny side and um, using it in a way to um, almost open doors through through teaching in a way, through expressing your understanding through your career path, your business and your job. Those are the positive things in the in, in your uh, you know and the and your projects. Those are the positive things that are gonna be if you follow that of communicating, of sharing your story or sharing your vision, I think will breed a lot for you or bring a lot of um, opportunities your way. In the super moon position of the top of the dial, we get the Wheel of Fortune and the Page of Wands. This is where it all changes and we start engaging in our passions. And you get the death and rebirth the start of a whole new cycle. I think you've. I think the universe is already planning this and getting you in there. And with this new cycle, you've got that judgment card as well. I think this is why like it's, it's almost sort of saying now, it's sort of kind of going, okay, the death of any illusions. So stop deluding your, uh, you know, when you get to the new, uh, the full moon or the super moon, you'll, you'll get to this point where you'll realize the delusions in the world and the illusions and you will then start actually sort of like a new, whole new journey heading towards that sun because that's what the eight of cup is doing as well it's walking away from the eclipse and walking you know from the moon that's eclipsing the sun towards the sun and that's what the death is doing as well it's heralding the new sun coming through the lion's gate for you uh, so there you go, uh, Leo. Thank you very much for being here. Absolutely beautiful, um, powerful reading for you. Um, I will see you for your weekly readings on Saturday. Uh, in the meantime, don't forget, life should be fun, so please do enjoy.